Hard to believe that it's less than a few weeks in this debacle that happened. It was literally all over the media. You know the thing I'm talking about. It was, of course, featuring His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince William. Not only did he get a backlash simply because he decided to go on camera alongside his beautiful daughter, Princess Charlotte, and of course wish these particular ladies the very best, but apparently it wasn't good enough. Oh no, he had to drop everything and go the other side of the world to support these brilliant ladies that we dub the Lionesses. Now, as you know, the Lionesses have done so much for female football. I really think they've inspired a generation because when you think about it, you know, it wasn't exactly doing incredibly well, but it's built up. It's all thanks to them. And I thought they did so well to get so far. Obviously, a bit of a shame that they didn't go the full way, but ultimately, you have to be proud of what you've achieved. And the ladies are. So it was interesting to find out exactly what they thought about the backlash because, as you know, they're now back looking at deals and no doubt will have some kind of celebratory uh, honour for them at one of the royal palaces, perhaps with, of course, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, Prince William, or indeed His Majesty the King, who I know are both very excited alongside Queen Camilla to wish them all the best for the future. It's not over yet. But according to a very well-placed source with the Lionesses, were they actually put out against the fact that William, or indeed the British Prime Minister, didn't drop everything to go over to, of course, Australia to wish them well? Well, I can tell you first and exclusive on the show, speaking to someone very close to all the ladies, they were absolutely not bothered 100%. What they were thrilled about, and naturally so, would be this the message literally from Princess Charlotte. One of the ladies, you know, let it be known to me that she felt that that particular message from that particular lady would help connect in so many different ways. And it truly did. Now, they have actually apparently been in touch with His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Prince William, to say, you know, we're not bitter, we're not fed up at all. We're just grateful for your support. So for all of those media organizations out there, including all the major national newspapers that were trying to make this into something that it truly wasn't, indeed trying to force the prince to go over with literally 24 hours to go, it's nice to know, isn't it, that absolute common sense prevails. And as one lady pointed out to me, she felt that that he could have been made even more nerve-wracking than the whole situation was if the Prince of Wales, or indeed the Princess of Wales, had have been in the stands. They pointed out it was simply quite bad enough just getting through the game. To have royalty there too would have been possibly too much pressure. It's always nice to get these stories cleared up simply because you hear one side from the media, but the true story sometimes never actually gets out into the public domain. Happy to share. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.